the main works involve uh, reconstructing 300 metres of the existing quay. The existing quay is an open pile structure and we have the complexity of demolishing that quay as well as uh, constructing the same one while keeping the uh, docks fully operational at the same time. We've used the existing deck as our temporary works for the piling operation. So it's more typically you'd maybe use floating plant to, to install your piles, but really we've used the existing deck, cord holes through it, put the piles in and then come along after to reconstruct rather than demolish everything and then come back in the pile. We're, we're driving a sheet pile wall at low level to retain the revetment, so we're, we're having to do everything under the water. You could install them to the surface, but there's no benefit in it. So we've only installed them where, where they're necessary, so there's no wastage of material in it. It's worked well. What's really innovative about this project is the way that the old dock area has been progressively removed and been replaced by the new dock area. This is needed because the new dock has to take heavier loading, it has to be more durable, and it has to last for the next 50 to 100 years. And doing that on a live port is actually quite difficult. Well, I think McLaughlin and Harvey are really first-rate contracting team. What we've seen here is, is a really clever scheduling of the work. I've seen, we've seen really dedication and hard work to delivering the project on time and to budget. And for the, from the client point of view, that's really, really important because you cannot afford to have a lot of downtime and delay when you're working on a large active port like this. And I think what you will see uh, at the end of this project is a fabulous new facility which will last as well into the future.